Good evening. Welcome to Sandown Park. Welcome to ITV Racing and welcome to a little piece of history because we are showing evening racing on ITV for the very first time. And we've got quite an evening in store. We sure do. We've got four races ranging from the younger sprinters in the national stakes to the older stayers in the Henry II stakes. There's really something for everyone with some top quality horses on show. Quality horses, a quality team, sort of. Richard Oyles and Jason Weaver. Richard, you've got your best suit on. It's a big night. Where in the general scheme of things does this meeting at Sandown Park stand as an evening meeting? As an evening. And Jason, how should we approach tonight from, a, from the point of view of finding winners? Because there are a few horses that are really short in the market. Should we be latching on to them? Well, as we... I'm sure lots of people will be coming in from work, doing what we're doing here. Relaxing, and here is what you have to look forward to on the show. And as an extra bonus for tonight, Brigadier Gerard Evening, we've got Frankie de Torre with us. You'll be riding later, but great to have you with us Thank for you. a little bit here. Well, buona sera. Isn't it great to be here in Lincoln? Uh, uh, um, um, tell us, without parole goes in our second live race. He appears to be something a little bit special. Yeah, he's uh, really nice. And then you ride Weekender for your boss, John Gosden, Weekend. in this staying race. Again, again he's uh, an improving horse over the long distance. Frankie, yes. Ride in the Derby next Saturday. Oh, hey, yeah. when, when did you last ride for the Aga Khan? You ride Hazapur I, week I on Saturday, think and it, I'm sure you're exactly the same. It does make you think of, of Pat Smullen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've, I've been in contact with Pat, and uh, well said, Frankie. Cracksman is still the plan to see him next Friday. Friday, yeah. Uh, week tomorrow, yeah. You watch the first race with us. Can you stay for a little bit? I can stay. News. Thank you, Frankie. <laughs> That's a treat for you as well at home. Now, Richard Holtz, his first race today. Am I right in saying this once upon a time was the richest two-year-old race of the entire year? Yep. Yeah, it really is important, Richard, because the two-year-olds come in all different shapes and sizes, and you really have got to try and assess which ones look ready to be putting their best foot forward now. But this guy, number seven, Vintage Brute, trained by Tim Easterby, really surprised people on debut at first when he won at odds of 25 to 1. Not only did he win, but he won by seven lengths. Seriously impressive that day. So here he is. He's gone for a little bit of a step up in class and taking on some of the number six is Sabre. Now, watching his race when he ran at Newcastle on debut, he got stopped, he got checked, he had to take a pull, he eventually went round runners, and when he got clear running room, gosh, he really sprinted away, most impressively. Now, this race is, again, a bit of a step up in grade for him, but no reason why we can't see him featuring. And number eight here is one of the two fillies in the race in Naka Candy, probably one of the bigger price chances in this race, but she's had a bit of experience, so three starts for one win. Go back to Ed for now and try. Well, I think I've probably found the best looking horse in the race. This is number five, Conchek. Only had the one start. At, that was on Thousand Guineas Day, the, the race after the Guineas. Um, he hung across the track a little bit that day, showed his inexperience, covered a bit of extra ground, did a few things wrong, but I have to say, he is definitely the pick of the paddock. Look at him. Lovely, uh, deep uh, brown colour. And his, now number four is Kinks, who has done really nothing wrong, only had the three lifetime starts for two wins, and his last win was, was really quite impressive. Uh, bred, actually, by the thing with Richard Hoyles. Now, this guy, number one, is called Adam Tyler, and he's particularly well-named because, supposedly, Adam Tyler is a pickpocket's accomplice, and his dam was called Money Grabber, so I'm a real sucker for a good name, and that is a good one. Um, now, of the horses lining up here, he is the only one that hasn't won a race, but I don't think that really counts against him because he's run in a couple of pretty competitive races, finishing third and second, so I expect an improvement on that form for him. And then we drop back to find the other filly in the race being number nine, wedding date. I was actually quite um, taken by her couple of performances. She finished second on debut and then won at Chester last time out over five furlongs. And Welcome back to Sandown, where action is just about to get underway with our first race being for the two rows over five furlongs. And one horse that I didn't get a good look at before the break is this one, number three, blown by wind. And I have to say, he wouldn't look out of place. In good luck. Thank you. Good luck with oh, out oh, parole. Hopefully we'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've tipped your horse, I'm afraid, Frankie, as part of a double in a, <laughs> I apologise, in the £20 challenge. 